Hello, this is video number three of the stretchy skirt. This is the finished product. This is the back, this is the front, the little pants underneath. As you can see where I added the skirt, makes a nice little line there with no, no loopy show of the other color. And I changed colors on this one. You could you could definitely do the whole skirt in one color if you liked. So what I've done here is I picked up all the way around and then I worked one row to get, I worked the setup row to get ready to do this first row of the pattern. As you could see on the skirt here, you have a lace pattern and then you have some purl stitches, which increases as you go down in between. So that setup row was to set up the, the 12 stitches and then the purl stitch. And I've got markers to mark, to mark off the purled stitches from the lace pattern. So my lace pattern goes like this. Purl two together purl two together, yarn over, yarn over, knit one, four times. So one, yarn over, knit one, two, yarn over, knit one, three, yarn over, knit one, four, and then purl two together, purl two together, slip the marker, purl that one stitch, no increasing yet on that. Later we'll, we'll increase in there. Purl two together, purl two together, yarn over, Knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl two together, purl two together. Slip marker, purl one, slip marker, and then repeat. So this you're gonna do all the way around. That's the first row of the lace pattern. Then you do three rows of knit. You just knit every row, except for the one stitch between these markers. That will always be purl. You want to keep that purl because we want that to be, it kind of will make it look like a little pleat in the front between the lace rows, the lace pattern. So we're going to go all the way around. Now I'm going to be, I always want to switch colors on a knit row. So I'm going to do two or three repeats of the color that I'm on here, the yellow, greenish yellow, whatever it is. And then I'm gonna switch to pink. So one thing you will notice, and I don't know of a good way to get rid of this, is when you switch colors, you do get that little loop there. You, you get that little loop and I don't, I suppose that you might knit that one row. I'm not sure how that would work, how that would make the pleat look. But that bothers me just a little bit that I have that. So then I'm gonna, and then by increasing, on the second repeat of the lace pattern, I will increase here in the in the purl part. I'll. I'll add a purl stitch on the second repeat, so right about here. So then you can see you have two purl stitches between each repeat of the lace. 
Okay, thank you. Look for video number four, which will um, probably will show you maybe at the bottom the repeat down here. And then probably number five, I'll show a little bit about either, yeah, probably how to put the waistband in. And then also there is a crochet border around the legs. Okay, look for video number.